Hold on, I might fall asleep while I'm sitting here. <laughs> heading down to Florida. We just, yeah, hi there. Welcome to a road trip and vacation house tour. Getting stuff settled. Probably gonna have to do a vacation grocery haul and some meal prep and stuff coming up. We're going for 10 days. I'll share all the details. We just stopped here in Greensboro, North Carolina to meet up with Peter and Mary Fry from The Fry Life to give them 47 bags of breast milk for their new little baby, Elijah. You can go over and check out on their channel how she's doing adoptive breastfeeding. But right here, have some road trip snacks that I'm gonna give out. We have about two and a half hours until we get to our hotel and at Columbia, South Carolina. So at the Target dollar spot, uh, these were $3 each. In anticipation for this big road trip, I got uh, three of the younger kids these tins. So we've got sharks and then dinosaurs. Other one that we have is bugs. So I got three of each. I'm gonna give them to them at different times. We've already been on the road for hours and hours today. So this is, oh, oh and Tobin's talking and we're, oh, all the noise. We are just leaving the gas station bathroom stop. And next stop will be our hotel in Columbia, South Carolina. Anyway, wanted to show you, whoops, if I can. These have magnet sheets. Okay, gotta give them to the kids. Here we go, yay. Alrighty, so we made it and we did DoorDash and our Little Caesars was waiting for us here. We are gonna eat and then we are gonna go swim. It's 8.38, so the pool closes at 10, so we'll get bedtime swimming in. Oh boy, we are going down the elevator. We are gonna go swim. See the fountain? This was like the hotel in 1985. And here we are. So we got two rooms that are adjoining at Embassy Suites. And each room has two double beds and one of these fold out couches. So my mom is in one room with Naomi, Gabriel, and Liam. And Travis and I are in the other room with the younger kiddos. And so some of the younger kiddos will sleep on this fold out couch. And then we have two other beds and it all works out perfect. The um, person limit in these rooms is six per room and we have 10 people total on this trip that's our large friendly math on this trip so it works out great and uh mama still remembered how to fold out the couch and they also had a pack and play available for tobin all right so we are leaving our hotel in columbia south carolina seven hours and 16 minutes left says 5 30 we'll probably be getting there what's my guess gonna be i'm gonna let's say 7 30. let's say you know quick bathroom breaks 30 minutes stop for lunch 7 30 sounds good let's do it the fantastic 1987 decor i know i showed you some clips but here's a picture i took this morning from our room from the lobby absolutely love it um lots of fun swimming in the pool we're gonna stay there on the way back and they had a super breakfast so Okay, now South Carolina to Orlando, here we come. So it was actually seven hours from where we were to where we're going. We're several hours in. We have stopped at a little Chinese food buffet here in South Carolina. And I can tell you we're in South Carolina by Tobin's curls like this. Tobin, look here. You got your humidity hair in full force. And we're having noodles. Are we having our noodles? Great curls. And here is lunch. And I am a noodle. Yummy.
Okay, look at that. We found the Aldi in Orlando and I'm going in. We've been in the car for hours. My legs are numb, but let's do this. Okay, I don't have a quarter, so hopefully Travis has a quarter. I need a quarter. May I have a quarter, please? <laughs> Pretty please, may I have a quarter? Well, I've got dimes, nickels, pennies. I got green dollar bills. So what I'm doing is, you know, sometimes, like last night, we'll order DoorDash, and uh, I was, saw the Aldi close to the house, and I was like, just let me run in there. DoorDash is fantastic. And last night, I timed it so that by the time we got to the hotel, they had little Caesars there. Anybody got a quarter? Yes, Naomi. Thank you, Naomi saved her mother. I don't have my timing down tonight, and I need to do bigger groceries tomorrow. We'll do a quick Aldi tonight. Things are going. Circle the whole store looking for you. Okay, here's how the meat department's looking here at this Aldi. I mean, they have stuff, just not a lot of it. So this is totally unplanned without a list just off the top of my head of what we'll need uh, for the next day or so. I'll tell you more on that. Okay, full cart on, on the fly in about 20 minutes. We can do it. I did not get enough bags, but I don't want to go back through the 26 bags. And now get ready because the back of the van is full. Ha ha. All right, so I know we got pirate, pirate hat mama, but I'm going to give you a tour of this house that we're staying at in Orlando. So let's go. It's supposed to be seven bedrooms and have five bad bathrooms. Three bedrooms supposed to have bathrooms. By the way, let's, let's take a look around. Just came in, started to get lights on. We walked in this door. We have this living room. I guess this would be their formal living room. Uh, first thing I see that's probably not going to last too long is the fancy napkins on the table. If we even use this one, you know what? We won't even use this one. I don't think we will use this room much at all, but we shall see. Uh, but anyway, yes. So then come through here. They have countertop stools. Here is the kitchen where we'll be spending part of the vacation time. And then a kitchen table. I think we will be using this one and the stools up there more, but should have everything we need. We got a dishwasher, sink, stove, refrigerator, cabinets, get ready, get ready kitchen. Then we have a more comfy, so we just floor space. Hey, that's my favorite. There's a pool out here. I don't know if we can see anything in the dark okay we won't worry about that yet comfier living room and stairs going up and then we have a bathroom here it's kind of like a jack and jill and it goes into this bedroom which come out here we got the laundry room i was already turning lights here and then we are back back at the front door so stairs i'm like wait a minute where the stairs go Naomi's been turning on lights for me upstairs. Okay, and so now I'm gonna get a look up here. Alrighty, so hallway this way, hallway this way. Alrighty, so this is the room we saw in the picture. I was hoping it still had the bedding, the Buzz Lightyear room. We were talking about this for 
maybe Daniel and Benjamin. And it has a cute little monkey, Jack and Jill bathroom. Another bedroom in here. Maybe this will be grandmother's room. And then over here, wow, wow. <laughs> big master bedroom, big closet, and some furniture, big bathroom. Okay, okay, big shower. Another nice bedroom. Bathrooms everywhere. Nice. Okay, and then hall bathroom. They know that we like our bathrooms. Okay, really cute girl, girl room. And there was another bedroom upstairs. My battery died, but it is there. So here's what the uh, look, the hall looks like in our refrigerator. My science with this and my uh, quick mama haul from feeding all these people for over 20 years though, so I kind of know what to grab. So I got some fruit, I got some eggs, I had the soda with the stevia in it. We have some water bottles. The other cases in the van will bring that in. Some bacon, orange juice, milk, my coffee creamer, some fruit, just a couple quick salads, some stuff for lunches maybe for the next two days some other odds and ends here and then up here we've got some quick emergency food yay and some pancakes and then i also have bread like i mentioned i figured we'll do bagels cream cheese and fruit tomorrow some chips some uh, snack bars some condiments so you know some trips i take all my non-perishable stuff and my pots and pans and then on this one i was trying to behave i just brought my k cups and my collagen and i figured the rest of the stuff i could pick up here because i can always you know use some of my favorite spices again at home i actually prefer to bring a lot of my own stuff and to get snacks before we come and all that but i knew that this was going to be a two-day drive just to get here it's gonna be a two-day drive to get home we got talk in hand here on vacation with us and so um anyway i'm gonna do stuff here tomorrow I'll put in an Instacart order or I will go myself. Hey, I used to have these same knobs at my farmhouse. For dinners, breakfast is easy. It's going to be uh, oatmeal, eggs, bagels, those pancakes. So that's probably like four mornings of breakfast right there already. And then I probably have uh, two to three days worth of lunches already here. So I spent about $200 and we're gonna have these pizzas and some fruit for dinner. I'm sweating. We got in this house and it's 79. So we're getting the full Florida treatment. Uh, for perspective, lunch today at that Chinese food restaurant was $91 with a tip. It was like 113. And so $200 for this quick get us started on vacation grocery haul is not even <laughs> two full meals out I mean like at a cheap buffet we can do so yesterday for Wendy's we called it a snack we got the four for four dollar meal we got ten of them so it was forty one dollars for that Just giving you the food report that I'm gonna get some stuff going with that tomorrow and 
Okay, yes and amen, on to the next thing. We don't have paper plates, that's right, Benjamin. So if I would have had just, a li those are fake apples, just a little bit more, like vacation regrets already, we could have brought napkins, we could have brought paper plates, we, we could have brought more of our non-perishables. Like they have one pizza pan, so we cut one of these pizzas in half. I also didn't bring my slow cooker. I mean, how comical is this? So mama's gonna get a new slow cooker on vacation, but kind of missed it on that one. The back, back of our van was loaded. It was a win to go to Aldi. Hmm. You know, like everything, there's ups and downs, you roll with it, but just like, we didn't bring paper plates, so hey, it'll be fancy. We'll get to eat on real plates tonight. All right, good morning, happy Saturday. It is uh, second coffee o'clock. I was just going through getting my plans in place for what I'm gonna feed us for this week. You get talking hand again this morning. <laughs> so for this trip, as of this first official day here with no major traveling, I need seven nights of dinners. And then we'll be leaving the day after that, heading back to the hotel we stayed at midway, and then the following day getting home. So we're, you know, slow journey here and back. But anyway, so seven nights of dinner. So I figured when I got here, I would just pull up. I have three of these large family slow cooker dinner, four week meal plans. Figured I would pull one up. I would pick a week off of one of them and that would be the one that we would have for our dinners. The one that I picked will have some heavy leftovers with one of the meals for sure. So I'm figuring stretching that for some lunches, maybe some other dinners, but also giving us the option of having two nights eating out. I think most days, because we're gonna be gone here, there, and everywhere, follow the dots, I think most days we're gonna bring heavy snacks. I'm thinking through this now. We could do peanut butter jelly back in the back of the van. Okay, I was just thinking we probably have to eat most lunches out when we're doing park days. We'll get there, but let's get dinner figured out, okay? So, okay, so here's the four week meal plan. And so the grocery lists that are in here, there's one for every week. There's one for two weeks at a time, like for weeks one and two. And then there's a one month to get everything for all the meals at one time. I am going to pick right here. We're gonna do week four. So we will have uh, chicken teriyaki. We're gonna do a big thing of slow cooker taco meat. I know that is a meal that will carry some leftovers. It's five pounds of meat, but again, you just never know. Will we get uh, three nights of dinner and two lunches? Will we get two nights of dinner and one lunch? It's hard to tell, so that's why I make a lot. We're gonna do zesty Italian pork roast, chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole, but in the slow cooker, and then ham potato and five bean soup. Some of these will carry leftovers for the next day, but again, it's uh, uh, an educated guess on how that'll roll. Here's my week four grocery list, and I'm just gonna go down with uh, Aldi and Instacart and get all my stuff in and so we'll have dinners coming alrighty friends so going through putting my grocery list here on the Aldi app and I got kids swimming in the background so you might hear extra hoot hollering and splashing so for all the the seven nights of dinners it came to 157.18 I don't think that includes tax uh, yet I know it doesn't include my tip but just showing you how much uh, in this day and age, hold on here, I'm gonna, I have some deodorant on there too, let me take that off, okay. I was just trying to uh, show you, I'm gonna add some other things for our family on here. Probably some more lunch things, I'm gonna sit here and get a thought on that. 153.33. Their ground beef down here was four to five dollars a pound. This is 85% lean, which is decent, and that was 409 a pound. Uh, but here is everything that I got. Seven nights of dinners. So I know those tacos are gonna stretch a few divided by seven. So we got $21 a night. You know that we've got 10 people on this trip. So you know 10 people cannot eat out for $21 a night. And we can just then divide that down to make ourselves feel better per person per night. $2.19 per person for eating dinner at home on vacation. And those tacos are, uh, are gonna stretch and help us out. And then, like I mentioned, with the other meals, sounds like Tarzan outside, we shall see um, they might do some lunches and some other leftovers for us. But I do want to get um, some more like non-perishable type snacks and uh, drinks and such for, for the park days. So let's work on that.
Okay, so Virginia kids in the winter, my kids have been outside for hours swimming in this pool, and they're also very thrilled because they're finding those fabulous Florida lizards. 61 degrees back home, there is no way in the summer or fall or, you know, whenever it would be 61 degrees at our house, there's no way they would be in our pool, but they are definitely uh, in this Orlando pool, yay. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to show you the weather report while we're here. So. Uh, 62 today, 72 tomorrow. That's going to be our first park day. It's supposed to rain, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. Uh, 72 Monday, 64 Tuesday, 65 Wednesday, 69 Thursday, 72 Friday, 72 Saturday. So this is very nice. And as I say, we don't mind the 60 degree weather because back home, okay, because back home uh, today it's 30. 30, we are starting to have like some 40 to 50 days. And uh, yesterday it was 28 at home, so it's okay. Yes, it is a nice change for us, yay. All right, grocery list inputting and organizing mom. This is a vacation lunch for kids after swimming out in the pool and the rain. I am going to rinse off these carrots and we've got some ranch too and they'll have that as well, yay. My Instacart shopper is saving my life right now. It's so funny when you're dealing with pork and you're talking about half butt or shoulder butt. My 13 year old would be laughing hysterically right now, but that's what me and my wonderful Instacart shopper is doing. And uh, yes, we gave a good tip. That's what people always ask me. Did you tip them? Did you tip them? Did you tip them? Yes, yes, yes. Thanks so much, exclamation point. Whew, gotta tip them well, cause I'm here, I doubt. I'm gonna take two of these little salad kits and add some hard boiled eggs to it. And I got one of these treats here and I'm going to eat and I am so tired. I think I went to bed about one something, got up about seven something, but that's okay because I'll go to bed well tonight. Instacart is a, is a chat and he's working through it. He's doing well for the chicken question mark. I spent all this time getting my order in, which my dinners was easy. And I also forgot, you know what the dinners, cause I have no condiments with me, so I had to like get a new bottle of soy sauce. I'm gonna take all these condiments back home. So many odds and ends that at home I would have had, which would have made the dinners even cheaper. Yes, comma, if that is all they have. So I put my order in, I think I needed five or six pounds of chicken without me looking right now again. When I put my order in, the pork and the chicken were not on my order. So I thought those must have been out of stock, but usually they tell you. So I went back in, I tried to put the pork roast on again, which now he has found. It looks like they've got like 30 of them there. And then for the chicken, they had a lot of drumsticks, but I was trying to get like chicken breast or something. As a backup, I put in an order of some frozen chicken breast and also some frozen chicken tenderloins because I was thinking, he said they do have the trays of chicken now. How many pounds are they, if you don't mind my asking question mark? But now the fresh chicken is there. I just did that because I thought, out of all of that, I might end up with something. I will take four trays if that's an option, please. He's telling me they have the trays of chicken breasts, but it's like 1.86 pounds, 1.73 pounds. And I'm trying to do a couple different chicken meals, so. Good job. Oh, I forgot. I didn't even show it last night. So this house has a game room also. And that's where my children are now and has either a pool table or air hockey table an xbox we have not figured out yet and some other games chess and stuff that they love to play all the time anyway and they've been having a fun time with that between swimming in the 61 degrees but they're not complaining and messing around that game room and then watching the tv they're watching jimmy neutron earlier there's an extra bedroom downstairs so that has kind of become kids uh lounge area and then the little game room is beside that we've already broken in the washer and the dryer the uh 
door going out here to the pool was off its track when we got here pretty much. So the property manager came today and was working on that some. I did get lots of good on the road at different park lunch options. They have eaten a lot of like the, the pizzas and the nuggets. So that is how I handle like food like that is I just, let's just get it over with. Like let's just make the pizzas, let's make the nuggets, let's eat it and then it's done, right? So they did that. Hold on, I might fall asleep while I'm sitting here. <laughs> I'm gonna have my salad and uh, then I'm probably, Tobin is still napping, so I'll probably get him up and lay down with him. We just, we knew we needed a recovery day. And this is how it'll be when we get back from all of our adventures. The day after we get back, I have some things scheduled that day, but I've got well over a week to reschedule them. We're gonna have to reschedule and have a downtime day at home. Alrighty, so here is our Instacart order. Thank you, Mr. Instacart shopper. And uh, anyway, we're gonna put all this away. I think I'm gonna do tacos tonight. So that'll just get us going and kind of give mama a break <laughs> for a, a, a night or two or three and uh, go with all our other meals from there. Well, sad. They did not have the eight quart slow cooker in stock, but the delivery driver brought us a six quart. Certainly better than nothing. We will make it work. I just like to have two because, you know, I like to do lots of things in them. But I did get slow cooker liners. You know, I just never really think about using slow cooker liners. And maybe I should sometimes. So I got these for the trip. It says it fits uh, three to eight quart. For many of my slow cookers, these would work for. I was pretty much just unloading on counters, but um, we're kind of living here <laughs> for over a week, so I still have all those things over there. I'm gonna have to actually unload in the pantry. I don't know why that feels different. I feel like I'm gonna forget where I put things. I'm not gonna live here forever, right? And Tobin's fussing, so several things going on here. Alrighty, so I will show you all. You're gonna get a sneak peek here. My snack store. Yay, mm-hmm. Several things for dinners. This week, various chips and snacks and pretzels. I thought I got a few more of those for Tobin Roundabout, but I guess I did not. And up top, I told my mom we would, we would set the coffee box up there, but it may not. Maybe I should uh, stack a couple by the pot. We like it to be as simple as possible. Dada. Dada. But there you go. Now we can play house and play pantry. I figured out our order came with that bag. I guess I bought that at some point. So we will use that for a lunch bag. We also got some bananas. And then the final put away in the refrigerator. I don't think we're going to need anything else as far as a delivery order this week. Uh, yeah, lettuce is in the door, but we're gonna start using those tonight. I think we should be pretty good. And then up there, I just uh, put the broccoli. And there's the pancakes. That's gonna be breakfast one morning. Alrighty, so dinner stuff is going on. I decided to start our week of large family meals on vacation dinners with tacos, because that'll just help me and help me start out with some leftovers and such. It just doesn't look like five pounds of ground beef, but it is, it was five of the little one pound rolls. So I'm adding corn to it, which this is in the slow cooker recipe. A lot of times I can throw the ground beef in the slow cooker, cook it, drain it, dump it back in the slow cooker with the seasonings and corn and beans and such just to stretch it. And then also do some brown rice to stretch it, which this is the only brown rice that Baldi had available. So I'm gonna do that and add it in and so hopefully we get a nice big pot full that will get us through several taco inspired meals also not working on the slow cooker because my orders didn't come until just too late to get the slow cooker going um, but they're here now so again yay taco kickoff here's how the ground beef 
cooked up. We also have some kidney beans and corn in there. Come on, rice, we're waiting for you. And then over here, we're setting up a taco area. I thought I ordered onions and tomatoes. And anyway, we got the basics covered. There's taco shells and wraps and chips. So I'm gonna put the meat there when it's done. All right, so you can see how adding in the brown rice really helped bulk this taco meat up. I also added in some more onion powder, garlic powder, cumin and pepper, of course, but now we'll have our tacos. All right, so I took out some and put it in this nice, sensible looking dish. Now we will do our taco party. Alrighty, friends, so we are going, I can't say over the river and through the woods, we are going through some swamps and around some palm trees. <laughs> Yeehaw in Florida, we are doing our first part today. We got our snack bag packed and a lunch bag packed. We got our sweatshirts because it's going to be 68 today. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 68, going to rain a little bit around too, but we'll take it. So there'll be many more large family meals on vacation coming up and other fun adventures. I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye.